Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is your girl Dasha Dasha Pace, and today I'm going to be making a ultimate deluxe cheeseburger pie. Let me show you what kind of ingredients I have. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. I've already pre-cooked my hamburger. There's two pounds of hamburger. It's been drained, pre-cooked. I have some sauteed mushrooms. I have some sauteed green scallions, onions. I have some jalapenos. I have some pre-cooked bell peppers. I have some onions that I've sauteed. I have my fried bacon, okay? I have a cup of milk. I have two eggs, and I've already cleaned and sliced my tomatoes. Now, for my products or my seasonings, I'm going to use some dry mustard. We have our seasoning salt, some oregano. We have a little bit of cilantro, black pepper. We're going to have some biscuit. We got cheese. I got more in the refrigerator. Cheese. And we're gonna add some ketchup. Alrighty. So that's what we're gonna be using to make this ultimate deluxe cheeseburger pie. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna dump this hamburger, this two pounds of hamburger, on in here. You gotta make sure when you um, fry meat like this burgers and pork and stuff like that if you're gonna make like spaghetti or something make sure you drain that grease off of it I'm gonna add a splash of black pepper I like pepper I'm gonna add some oregano Then remember, I got two pounds of meat, so, and then all my other stuff over there that I'm going to add to it. Here's a splash of salt, just two, because we had the bacon. Let's mix, okay? Now we're going to add us some ground mustard. My little spoon. One. That's it. Okay, and we're going to add some cilantro leaves. Alrighty, now I'm going to add my mushrooms. This here was two. I think I used two green onions. it all up. All right, our bell peppers. And once again, we're going to stir. We're going to take our ketchup. Now you can use ketchup. You can use tomato paste. You can use um, crushed tomatoes, I mean, you can, diced tomatoes is your dish. You fix it how you want to fix it for you and your family. Okay. I don't have any Worcestershire sauce, so. I thought I did. I would have bought some had I known we didn't have any. And we normally have it, unless I overlooked it. Okay, y'all. So now it's all mixed. I'm going to 
drop this down in here in this Pyrex dish. You want to smooth it out. We're going to take our jalapenos. Lay them down. I took the seeds out, the majority of them. So the seeds are gone. Like I said, this is the ultimate deluxe cheeseburger pie. And this here is two jalapeno peppers that I cut up. Well, Y'all, when I was in here, <laughs> when I was in here um, frying up this burger and everything, Mr. T said, mm, you got this house smelling. <laughs> That's why I didn't do anything. And here's the onions that I slightly pre-cooked, sauteed a little bit. I was like, I didn't do nothing but fry this burger. I had the burgers in one pan, I had the bacon in another. I don't know if y'all like heavy onions. I love onions. So of course, mine is going to be heavy. Heavy onions. Here is my tomatoes. This here is two. I'm not going to put two tomatoes. I just wasn't sure um, how much. Uh oh. It would take to cover so that's why I went on ahead and cut up two I try to cut them really thin thinly sliced some of them okay one more right there. All right, that's the tomatoes. Here's my bacon that I pre cooked. Mr. T was trying to get some of the bacon. You want to use all that bacon? I said, Yes. So then he had to fry him, fry him some bacon. And like I said, it's almost not enough. Oh well, let's see. I'm trying to make this work, y'all. I think I did. All right, y'all, I'm back. And I have some cheese. This here is some fancy sharp cheddar. All right. Sprinkle that around. Have some more cheese for the spots that I've missed. And this here is some Mexican blend. All right, I think that should be pretty decent. Pretty decent. This is a cheeseburger. The ultimate deluxe. Okay, y'all. I've already put my two eggs, my biscuit, and my milk. I'm just trying to stir it up some more. I've already got my oven preheated to 400. And we're going to let this bake for about 30 minutes. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. And you just pour it on top. Like I said, this was two cups of milk. And 
and it is done. All right, y'all stay tuned while I put this in the oven. Yes, y'all, and I forgot to tell y'all, we're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes uncovered. It has to be uncovered. All right, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, it's out of the oven. Some pieces are a little browner than others. I think that's the bacon. But um, what we're going to do now, we're going to let this cool for like another 20 minutes or so because it's way too hot. Okay, y'all. It is cooled off, so I'm about to cut this. Oh boy. I don't mind in pieces, but the majority of the time, I prefer the middle. I need to get a fork. Okay. Trying to pick it up without tearing it to pieces. Oh, that came out perfect. All right, that's it. Okay, y'all. Let me say my grace. God is great. God is good. Lord, we thank you for this food. Amen. This is some that fell. As you can tell, it is still smoking. It is hot. But we're gonna try it. Wow, this is good. Mm. Y'all, I hope I don't hurt myself. I'm not going to eat all this at one time either, y'all. Oh, because I can't. Mmm. That's good. Well, y'all, until the next time, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Y'all have a safe, happy holiday or a safe Labor Day weekend. And I'll see y'all on another video. Deuces.